Hey, Sophie, can you tell me if acute alcohol withdrawals is the same thing as acute benzodiazepine withdrawals? Well, I know alcohol withdrawal is from alcohol and benzo withdrawal is from benzo. <laughs> but uh, yeah. um, I also know that they're both, they both activate the GABA receptors. Mm -hmm. And so when you withdraw and those receptors are not being activated, you can have some central nervous system um, symptoms like hyper excitability, seizures, agitation, and things like that. But I know that both uh, types of withdrawal are life-threatening and we do treat both uh, similarly um, but I believe that alcohol withdrawal presents it happens faster um, than opioid withdrawal. Benzo withdrawal. Benzo withdrawal. Not bad. Pretty good Sophie. Okay she's got most of it right. Clinically what you need to understand is benzodiazepines are alcohol in a pill. They're both under the sedative hypnotic class of drugs, and they both have, again, we're talking about acute, acute withdrawals that can kill you. It's a spectrum, one to five, seven days. Worst of it is in the middle, roughly, and they both need to be done under a licensed physician's care. Essentially, they're the same thing. And as Sophie said, they are GABA receptor related, and you have hyperstimulation, because it's basically going the opposite way since you've taken all the filling from the inhibitory receptors. That's it. Say bye, Sophie. Bye.